Hi, my name is Kim Hyun Ji. I'm a visual artist from South Korea, and I grew up surrounding by my mom and grandma, grandparents' artworks. So they influenced me to become an artist. Yeah, and I studied in art school in Korea for like a year. But like my father got a business in Western Australia, so I came to Australia like four years ago. And then I was studying in Curtin University, and then was starting my career in Australia and moved to here, Melbourne, like a year ago. I had a solo show when I first moved here and had one coming up soon too. And yeah. I met heaps of other, like my internet painter friends here too. That's been really helpful. Uh, well, when I was in school, it was like more towards to realism painting, like hyper-realism, but like I kind of wanted to find a difference between like photography medium and the painting medium and I want to um, find the unique uniqueness of painting. Yeah, my favorite medium is oil paints, but I love doing drawings with charcoal and Conti pencils. I do, yeah, I enjoy like traditional mediums. Yeah, I've been painting my um, friends when I first came here because I was like really impressed by the diversity in Australia because this Korea is like a kind of single nation country. So, all Asians. <laughs> yeah, so, and then um, currently I'm interested in how people from our generation create the persona through the social media. Pretty positive about all the selfie culture. It's part of the human nature, I reckon, or the narcissism and stuff. Currently I'm painting on the perspex and acrylic and using this transparency. I did some experimentations and now I'm getting used to it but definitely it's like out, out of my comfort zones. So yeah, it's harder than canvas. You know, sometimes you find yourself, go to gallery, but when it's framed, you see your reflection on the artworks. I know it's like really distracting for the viewer, but I wanted to use that idea for my artworks too. Also it's about like, yeah, I'm using the glass and mirror paper for, for the new series. It's an attempt to play with concept and symbolism. Glass allows for the visibility of the surface on which the painting hangs. There is something transparent physically and conceptually, something missing awareness of medium. The mirror, the mirror paper is even harder to ignore. Our reflections are always present. The only way to avoid seeing ourselves in the painting is the result of our own efforts. It, re it reflects the engagement between audience and consumer, the nature of representation and interpretation. Something else is that the presentation of subject is not entirely controlled, nor despite any attempt to do so. So that's the reason I use these mediums for the current series. Yeah.